Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Emma? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Good for you. How fine, are you? Thank you. Cecilia, excellent. Very good. What about Cecilia Rodriguez? How are you, Cecilia? <laughs> I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Look at you, girls. Justo a tiempo, right? Excellent. Let me just drink water, right? And we're going to start. Everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. We have really good content for today's class. Tenemos un excelente contenido para esta clase porque ya vamos a iniciar con la sección 3, right? Solo vamos a trabajar un poquito en un tema que quedó. Eh, sí se explicó, pero vamos a trabajar un poquito más. La clase pasada lo dejamos así, all right? Que es el uso del there is and there are. So, let's get started. Let's see, what do you do? As you already know, my name is Feber Evalo. We are in Beginners 2 and class number 5. So let's move on. Let's see. What do you remember, my friends? ¿Qué recordamos? Mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture. Menciona al menos tres palabras relacionadas a la mobiliaria, que es furniture, right? A ver, ¿quién se recuerda? Ajá, uh -huh, nobody. For example, ajá. Uh -huh. Hi, Emma. You have your microphone Arm. open. <laughs> yes. Armchair. Um, Curtain. Curtains. Curtains. Uh -huh. um, coffee table. Um, lamp. Very good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good, Emma. Sí, justamente quiero que traten de recordarse ese vocabulary porque les va a servir para la práctica que vamos a hacer ahora. Let's go, Mayra. Tell me three vocabulary words, please. Sofa, uh -huh. lamps, um, television. Excellent. Very good. Simple as that. Sofa, lamps, television. All right, guys, we also have rugs, curtains. We have another vocabulary words, right? Thank you, Mayra. Let me check. Alguien más, un voluntario más que me dé otras, que no sea TV. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. we have two participants. Let's go with Marvin. Oh. Uh, I have uh, corn, corn, ends, corn ends, eh, a palabra, soñé con ella. ¿Cómo se dice cama? Bed. Bed, amiga. Bed. Bed. Yes, bed, Cecilia. Uh, continue, Marvin. <coughs> eh, la cortina, eh, corn ends. Corn ends. Uh -huh. Corn ends. Clock. Uh, the table. A stove, mm -hmm. microwave oven, oh, eh, tenía bookcase. Bookcase, excellent, sir. Very good. I'm glad that you take notes and you remember some of them. All right, everybody. Este vocabulary. No crean que es solo para que lo conozcan y sepan los nombres de los objetos, right? No, este vocabulary les va a ser muy funcional al momento de utilizar las estructuras que ustedes están aprendiendo, right? Como es el caso del there is and there are. Para eso se plantea este tema de furniture. O, oh, eh, let me check, ¿cuál era el otro? House, parts of a house and apartment, right? ¿Recuerdan las partes de la casa y los apartamentos, right? Para eso también se plantea. So, let's see. We have for singular objects, right? For singular objects. A structure. Voy a leer la estructura yo, primer, yo primero. 
Y luego van ustedes, ¿ok? Y voy a poner a múltiples personas a que la lean. <ríe> Let's see. Structure. There is plus is or isn't plus a or no plus complement for plural objects. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus complement. All right. Cuando ustedes ven que ya aparece no, mind blown, right? Pueden pensar, si ya tenemos el aren't aquí, ¿para qué ponen el no? Se puede poner el double negative ahí. Se pone por si ustedes desean utilizar el are, no, right? En vez de utilizar el aren't. Claro está, ustedes tienen que aprender las dos formas porque en el mundo utilizamos las dos formas, all right? So, let me check. I'm going to ask so many of you to read this information. Let's go with Carla Abrego, please. Me lee la primera estructura. First structure. Okay. Okay. For singular, singular object. Estructura. There plus is or isn't plus a or no plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Mayra Esperanza. Give me the structure for plural objects. There um, plus are or aren't or plus some um, or any or no plus um, no, perdón sería or no plus complement exactly, thank you Mayra, very good job Let's go with René Portillo. Tell me the structure for singular. Me lee la de singular de nuevo, please. For singular object, structure. Ter plus is or isn't plus I, A or no or plus complement. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Let's go, miren, les voy a quitar este, este or ahí, all right? Porque ya solo llevan el plus complement. Thank you, René. Let's go with Kimberly. Tell me the structure for plural, please. For plural objects. There, plus, are, or are, uh, plus, some, or any, or no, plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Now, guys, I ask you. Algo que parece bien obvio, voy a preguntarlo, right? Entonces, let me move on. If I use there is, it's for singular or plural? For singular. Singular. Excellent. Very good. And if I use there are? Plural. Plural. Excellent. Eso tienen que tenerlo aquí, right? Así, chispa, como contestaron ahorita, así es como deben de mantenerlo siempre. Para que no se confundan, right? So, let's notice this structure, it's really easy, all right? You are going to use negative when you don't have the objects. Utilizamos el negativo cuando no tenemos los objetos, all right? Para esto nos es bien, nos es muy bien reconocer el vocabulary de furniture, house, apartment, right? Tenemos mucho enriquecimiento de vocabulary que podemos utilizar. Veamos cómo. Guiding examples with there is. Cecilia Romero, tell me sentence number one, please. One. There is a TV in May. Living room. Exactly. Thank you. Notice I'm using TV, which is part of furniture, but I'm also using living room, which is a part of a house. Right? No tan llevo este vocabulary. Claro está. Si tengo otro vocabulary, puedo hacer uso de él. Right? 
También puedo decir, there is a cat in my house. Tengo más vocabulary si estoy hablando de animales. En este caso tenemos objects o furniture. Number two, Karen Castillo, please. There is a window in my living room. Exactly, thank you. There's a window in my living room. Alexis Hurtado, please, number three. There is a desk in my living room. Mm -hmm. That's correct, sir. Thank you, right? Y por fin, tuve una negative. There isn't a desk in my living room, right? También puedo decir, there is not a desk in my living room. Usualmente, and I'm going to be pretty honest with you, usualmente la forma larga la utilizan para dar un, un enfoque eh, más fuerte, por así decirlo, right? There is not, or there are not, right? Como para ser un poquito más fuerte en lo que queremos decir. Claro está, eso se escucha hasta en el tono de la persona, right? Pero es necesario que ustedes conozcan ambas formas, right? So let's move on, let me check. Guiding examples with there aren't. In este caso puede ser con there are or there aren't. Let's have Yesenia Vasquez, please. Sentence number one. There aren't any chairs in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alexis Bar Balmore, please, number two. There are some pictures on my bedroom. Exactly, that's correct, very good. Let me see. And let's have Flor de Maria, number three, please. There are no computers in my kitchen. Exactly, very good, very good. Saben. Uh, muchas veces cuando ustedes escuchen que alguien utiliza, no utiliza, sino que es de, es British, que son británicos, van a utilizar, que van a ver que ellos casi siempre utilizan el there are not, right? Para dar más énfasis, o un enfoque más fuerte, o there is not, right? They quite always use it, casi siempre lo utilizan, right? En vez de decir there aren't, o there isn't, ellos son un poquito más elegantes y utilizan la forma larga. Which is pretty cool. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora, teacher? Porque nos está dando esto de nuevo, right? Yo sé que ustedes, espero que ustedes ya hayan finalizado la section 2. All right? Espero. I really hope so. Pero también quiero que me hagan unas sentences utilizando there is and there are en su forma tanto positive o negative, all right? Ustedes escogen si quieren hacer, bueno, no es que si quieren, van a hacer dos oraciones con there is. Puede ser una en positivo y una en negativo, if you want. Ahí sí pueden decir. O oh, las dos afirmative or two negative. Y van a hacer dos oraciones utilizando el there are. Affirmative and negative. If you have questions, you can ask me. The teacher, dos afirmativas dijo y dos negativas. No, I need two sentences. Necesito dos con there is y dos con there are. Pero uh -huh. en esas dos de there are, usted puede decir si quiere decir una negativa y una afirmativa. Y lo mismo con there is. Si usted quiere, puede decir one in affirmative and one in negative. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Teacher, puede poner la lámina anterior. Gracias. Yes, this one. Gracias.
Finnish teacher. Excellent, very good, Emma. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. Vamos a esperar unos minutos más y comenzamos con usted. All right. All right, let's get started with Emma. Uh -huh, Hi, Emma, tell me your sentence, please. There is a blender in my kitchen. There is a closet in my bedroom. There are many chairs in my dining room. There are many flowers in my jar. Excellent, very good. Y utilizó una palabra nueva, blender, porque creo que se va en el vocabulary, right? Excellent. Very good. Very clever. Let's go with number two, Kimberly, please. Kimberly Elena. There is a bookcase in my bedroom. There is a mirror in the bathroom. There are some curtains in the kitchen, there aren't any armchairs in the living room. Excellent, very good, Kimberly, excellent. There are some Me. curtains, excellent, very good. Si cuesta esa palabra, right, curtains. <laughs> Hasta que uno se acostumbra a decirla, ya, ahí sale, finally. Let's go with Cecilia Romero, please. Okay, uh, there is a bed in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There are some in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. All right, very good, Ceci, excellent. Solo en la número uno de there are, que me dio. There are uh -huh. some, there are some, que, que, que tiene ahí. There are ah, chairs, puse también Excellent. in the kitchen. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Está correcta. Excellent. Okay. Sí. Let me go with somebody else. ¿Alguien más? Les doy la oportunidad. <laughs> pues yo lo escojo. Action, Marvin. Uh, there is a fan in my bedroom. My bedroom. There is a bookcase in my living room. There are some bookcase in my living room. There aren't any sofas in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
there are planes and the airport. All right, very good, excellent, Marvin. Solo hay una. ¿Cuál fue la que dijo? There are bookcases. There are some bookcases. Eh, Necesita correct. el plural. Ajá, el, el plural, sí. Thank okay. you, Marvin. Thank That's you, teacher. Correct. You're welcome, sir. Check. Excellent, Mayra. Action. There is a dog in the yard. There is a mouse in the kitchen. There are many flowers in the yard. There are some pictures in the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good in the bedrooms. Bravo. That's correct. Another one. Yeah. Puedo. Mm, yes, 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 Enya. No me aparecía, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is a sofa in my bedroom. There is, there is in a microwave in my kitchen. There are any pillows in my bed. There are no TV in my bedroom. All right, very good, yes, Enya. Yes, indeed. No mistakes. Vamos bien, vamos a ver bien. Ahorita todos están trabajando bien sus sentences. I'm proud of you. Estoy orgullosa. Let's check. Another person. Ok. Empiezo yo Dedo, a coger. Ah, de Democráticamente. <laughs> Let me check. ¿Quién dijo yo? <laughs> Nobody. Ok. Then let's go, guys. Alexis Hurtado, please tell me your sentences. Okay, miss. There is a cat in the house. There isn't any food. There are apples in the box. There are two cats in the house. All right, excellent, sir. Very good. You used new vocabulary. That's correct. And let's see. Let's go with Flor de Maria. There is a computer on the table. There is not a window in the, my living room. There are no chairs in my bedroom. There are sofas in the bedroom. All right, excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Let's go with Alexis. Action, Alexis. Perez Guzman, Alexis Perez Guzman, please. Ah, okay. Que siempre se me olvida que hay dos Alexis. I'm sorry. Um, there is a clock in the kitchen. There is no curtain in the bedroom. There are not many windows in house. There are many. Perdón, me equivoqué. Eh, la última es negativa. There are many chairs in the dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Excellent, sir. Very good. All of them are perfect. Let's go with Raquel Santos, please. Boy, um, there is a beautiful park in Los Planes Santeros. Um, there is not important things to see in the third store. There are interesting books in that library. And there are uh, there aren't new cars in the parking. All right, excellent, very good, Raquel. You acquire new vocabulary, excellent. Just repeat after me, Raquel. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh, excellent. Thank you, Raquel. Okay. Very good job, everybody. Excellent. Now let's check. Tenemos por aquí. Um, Jose, no, Juan Jose Pineda, you want to participate? Quiere participar? 
Sí, teacher, gracias. Excellent. Uh, there is an, a park in my city. Uh, there is a hospital in my city. There are uh, there are many animals in zoo in so uh, there are in uh, potatoes in my store. All right, excellent. Very good one. Those are correct. Solo que si dijo la palabra bien su, así es. Yeah. All right. Gracias. You're welcome, sir. Now, everybody, let's check this up. Miren, algo bonito del material con el que estamos trabajando es que ustedes tienen readings, ¿ok? ¿De qué nos sirven los readings? No solo adquirimos nuevo vocabulary, ponemos en práctica el que ya adquirimos también, aprendemos a leer con punctuation marks y sobre todo, pues, hablan. <laughs> All right, eso es lo que necesitamos, que hablen, everybody. Let's see. We have, this is the topic of these readings. Reading two special houses, All right? This is the última parte ya de la platform. Let's see. We have in San Antonio. Ah, quiero quiero probar algo, everyone. Solo me dicen ustedes si alcanzan a escuchar el el audio de esto. Si no, yo lo voy a hacer. No hay ningún problema. El reading, pero quiero saber si lo escuchan. Si se escucha o no. No. No, 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 teacher. No, no. No, no. no se escucha nada. No. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ah, pues yo se los voy a leer, everybody. Just pay attention to the to my intonation and es que la queremos teacher, escuchar teacher. Usted, teacher. Yes, será yes. por será por los dos sonidos que tiene el 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 chutu y el de la compu. I don't know, fíjese Alexis, eh, todos los cursos anteriores que he dado siempre lo he puesto el video y siempre escuchan sin necesidad de tocar algo más, pero last Monday, el lunes pasado también intenté ponerlo y no se dio, <laughs> así que yo voy a leer, all right? So thank you Alexis, here we go, pay attention, all right? In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. Writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. Interesting stories, no histories. The house has a the house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros house are white or beige. Ojo aquí con esta, Mrs. Cisneros, right? Tenemos que pronunciar esa S. House are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it, right? I don't know you guys. A mí me gusta el color pink, pero no sé, a la gente no le gusta la casa color pink. So there you have it. Everyone has a different point of view. Let's check. Ahora les toca a ustedes, all right? Ya hice el reading. Tengo algún volunteer, algún voluntario que quiera practicar su reading. Y así hay que darle me. Excellent. Let's go with Alexis Hurtado y luego Emma, right? Yes, action. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. The house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for his interesting stories. The house has parts with a pink flow. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other house near Mrs. Nerus house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors, her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nerus loves it. Loves it. Okay. Excellent. Very yes. good, sir. Very good. Excellent. Now you see? Bravo. Now, guys, let's check this one. En el audio, ustedes van a escuchar que aquí dice Mrs. Cisneros. 
All right? Porque así es. All right? Claro. Cisneros es su apellido, pero agrega la S del... Ay, del... ¿Cuál era? La pertenencia de uno, right? Refiriéndose a la pertenencia de ella a su casa, right? Ahí se me olvidó cuál es la S. Los possessive adjectives, all right? Possessive pronouns. Entonces, para hacer eso, del posesivo, le agregan esa S y tenemos que pronunciarla. Mrs. Cisneros' house. Cisneros. Right? Suena awful, suena raro, pero así es. Teacher. <laughs> yes? Teacher Cis Cisneros. Ajá, uh -huh. Mrs. Cisneros. Yes. Ok. Ok. En San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros love, loves, loves it. Loves it, excellent. Loves it. Very good, you guys. Esa frase, right? Loves it. La van a escuchar para el significado de la ama, right? Loves it. Así que hay que pronunciar esas S. Quizás eso es lo que más podría llegar a costarnos en el English language, la pronunciación de la S, pero tenemos que hacerlo, right? So let's go with. Do I have another volunteer o escojo ya? Ajá, Mayrene Fuentes, action, please. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of, of Sandra Cisneros. Mr. Cisneros is a Mexican American great. She is famous for her inter, interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The room are gray, pink, and purple. There are many books in colorful painting. painting. Many other houses near Mr. Cisneros' house are gray or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her new Neighbors. Neighbors. Thank you, teacher. Think her house is too colorful, but Mr. Cisneros loves it. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. You guys, cuando leemos así con punctuation, ay no, se me descargó la computer. <laughs> cuando leemos así con punctuation, everyone, hasta me dan la oportunidad a mí de que si tenemos alguna palabrita ahí que no la pronunciamos bien, yo les puedo ayudar, all right? And that's excellent. Very good. Give me one second, everybody. I'm going to connect my computer. Okay, give me one sec. Now, let's continue. We have another reading, okay? Cecilia, usted va para el otro reading. Ya vi que quiere participar. Okay. Very good. Ahora voy a hacerles esto yo de nuevo. Pay attention and then you will go alone. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about native, no vamos a decir native, native American tribes, las tribus americanas, right? Nativas americanas. Most people stay in hotels. But some people stay in traditional Native American homes called, called Hogan's. Vamos a decir cole de aquí, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. 
Miss Nelson teaches her guests her guests about Native American traditions. All right. Qué bonito una cabañita. All right. Eso es todo lo que tienen ahí. Let's check. Cecilia Romero, action. Ya me arrepentí. All right. No se preocupe. Cuando necesite ayuda, me avisa. All right. Me voy a traer todo. It happens. Don't worry. Okay. Lo pasa todo, Cecilia. Bueno. Bueno, ahí me corrige, por fin. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about native, native, native American trails. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional native American American home bones. I know not. <laughs> Hogan. Hogan's. Mm -hmm. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona in in base. In bites. In base. Visit visitors to stay in her Bogan. Hogan. Hogan. Mm -hmm. it, her, is, it has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood dunning stay stop. 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 Mr. Nelson teacher. Teaches. Here, here, guess about Native American tradition. <laughs> Excellent, Cecilia Romero. Bravo. Now you see, that was easy. Thank you. <laughs> that was a piece of cake for you. So, está fácil, digamos. Excellent. All right, guys. Just as I remind you, antes de pasar a alguien más, aquí es Native. Native. No sabría cómo decirles en realidad que lo escucharían ustedes, pero así se escucha, native. Um, también Hogan's has, y yeah, así, right? No, no le damos, no, no podemos decir Hogan, decimos Hogan's, como house. Let's go with Mayra, action Mayra. Teacher, perdón, podría pronunciar de nuevo tribu. Ah, tribes. Tribes. Action, honey. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in the hotel, but some people stay in the traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in the Hogan's in has three shirts, two beds on the floor, a uh, good morning stop. Uh, Miss Nelson teacher has guests about Natavi, Nat, Native. Native, Native American traditions. Excellent, very good, Mayra, bravo. Everybody, let's check. ¿Qué será? Oh, a ver, para ustedes, ¿a qué les suena el good burning stop? Si stop es estufa, ¿qué creen que es? Como cocina de leña. Mm -hmm. Sir, that's correct. Justamente esa, right? Bueno, el panorama de la picture nos dice más o menos como cocina ella, right? Y también por lo que menciona el article, que no tienen muchas cosas. Solo two, two beds, three chairs. O sea, es contadito lo que ya tiene en una cabañita. Sí, es bien interesante. If you travel to Arizona someday, will you visit a Hogan? Si ustedes viajaran a Arizona un día, algún día, ¿visitarían un Hogan? ¿Para quedarse o solo verlo? Ver de lejos. <laughs> solo verlo. One day, teacher. I'm sorry, you guys. The experience. You need the experience. All right? So, excellent. Thank you, guys. Let me just choose somebody else to give me a last reading. And then we'll move on. Juan Jose Pineda, please read it. Hey. 
every year, uh, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American trip. Most people stay in hotel forest, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, color homes. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in the home. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and wood warning stove. Mr. Nelson teaches teach, uh, her guess about Native American traditions. That's correct, sir. Thank you. All right, everyone. Excellent. Con esto han hecho un gran esfuerzo, Ryan, and I got you. Marvin Soriano, you want to read? Get it in? Yes. <laughs> Action, please. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribute. Most tribe. people stay tribe. Tribe. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Call Hagan Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in here Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a book and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Very good. You guys, it has really cool vocabulary. It's an article, right? Tiene un vocabulary super genial ahí. So let's go. Jobs vocabulary and activities. All right, let's check. Voy yo primero. Solo escuchen, all right? Pueden practicar ustedes, pero con el microphone off. Let's see. Cashier. Cashier. Cook. Cook. Chef. Chef. Doctor. Doctor. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant is an item, right? Judge. Judge. Juez. Judge. Lawyer. Lawyer. Hay que diferenciar. Lawyer is abogado. Liar. Con A es, es, que se escucha con A, right? Liar. Es mentiroso. Entonces, hay que tener mucho cuidado ahí. Hay que decir lawyer para decir abogado. Lawyer. Musician. Musician. Nurse. Nurse. Pilot. Pilot. Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Security guard. No pronunciamos la U. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Waitress. Waiter, camarero, waitress, camarera. Es el único, la única profesión en la cual diferenciamos así por el gender, all right? Por el género. Let's go with you guys. Let's check. Ahora les toca a ustedes. Mm -hmm. Hoy. Oh, yo voy a escoger. Let's start with Catherine Pamela. Please tell me the vocabulary. Me regale el vocabulario, please. Hello. Hello, Catherine. Cashier. Cook. Or chef. Doctor. Fly. Um, fly attendant. Mm -hmm. A judge, liar, lawyer, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security ward, singer, waiter, waitress. That's correct, Catherine. Thank you. Very good. Let's have René Portillo, please. Action. Your microphone, sir. Um, catcher, boots, 
doctor, flying at Phantom, Doom, Audio, Musical, News, Pilot, Police Officer, Receptionist, Salesperson, please repeat. La, la I. Salesperson. La I. Salesperson. Mm -hmm. Security guard. Sang, singer. Waiter. Y, Waitress. Um, Waitress. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Dene. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's keep it up over here. Salesperson. Do you know what a salesperson is? ¿Qué creen que es una salesperson? Vendedor. Uh -huh. Vendedor. Exactly. That's correct. Vendedor. Then you have a. Sí, eso no sería esa. La única que quizás. Musician. Sabemos que es alguien que hace música, right? O trabaja de eso. Musician. All right, everybody. Let me go with. Hey, I have. Lourdes Nerio, please tell me the vocabulary. Hello, are you there? Or no? Let me go then with Nestor Amilcar, please. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. A catcher, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, jobs, lawyer, missing, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Now, everybody, listen up. Ya se han fijado ustedes que los, hay algunos plumones, hay unos plumones que son marca Pilot, right? Ahora ya sabemos que el Pilot en realidad es un piloto, no es un marker. Plumones marker, all right? Quiero aclarar eso porque sí, ya, ya he tenido esa experiencia de que alguien me diga, Miss, quiero un Pilot, all right? <laughs> y esa es, um, este es otra cosa, all right? So, I, I need you to focus on this one. Pilot es un piloto, all right? That's correct. <laughs> Let's move on. Let me check. Um, Karen Castillo, please give me the vocabulary. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, fly attender, job, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security work, singer, waiter, Waiter. Excellent, bravo, no mistakes. And let's go with the last one, Cecilia Rodriguez, please. Okay, cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales person, security guard, Singer, waiter, white dress. That's correct. Thank you, Cecilia Rodriguez. You guys, okay. do not forget. Antes de moverme a otra slide. Musician. No nos olvidemos de esta. Musician. Musician. También security guard. Hasta más fácil es porque solo imagínense que tiene la A. Security guard. Right? Digo, imagínense si la tiene, right? Pero me, me refería a que le quiten la U. Security guard. Security guard. That's it. Let's move on. Ya aprendimos las, eh, los jobs, right? Las profesiones. Ahora vamos a ver los places, los lugares donde estas personas laboran. Y las activities, las actividades que ejercen. Let's see. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Voy de nuevo. Places. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. 
utiliza uniforme, right? Sits all day. Pasa sentado todo el día. Talks to people. Alguien que tiene mucho, eh, que habla mucho con las personas, right? Talks to people. Works hard. Un trabajador, alguien bien trabajador, right? O trabaja duro. Todos. <laughs> Stands all day. Pasa parado todo el día. Stands all day. Handles money. Maneja dinero. All right, handles money. Works at night. Trabaja por las noches. Writes tickets. Firma, escribe o sella tickets. All right, all of those. Podemos utilizar todos esos sinónimos. Now, let's go with some of you. Let's go with Marvin. Tell me the vocabulary of places and activities. Please, after Marvin, Emma. Okay, places in a hospital. In an office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears a uniform, sit all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. That's correct, sir. Thank you. After Emma, Cecilia Romero. Action. Places, in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, harmless money, works at night, writes tickets. That's correct. Thank you, Emma. Very good. Let's go with Cecilia. Place in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sit all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stand all day. Handies money. Works at night. Write ticket. That's correct. Excellent. Very good, Cecilia. Let's go with Flor de Maria, please. Action. Place in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a house. Activity, activity. Wear a uniform. Sick her die. Tells to people. Wear her. Star all day, only my word at night, Greek ticket. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, Flora Maria. You guys, yes, we're too. <laughs> yes, you're too, I know guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, listen up, everyone. Las S, mis queridos amigos, right? Esas S hay que pronunciarlas, right? Sits, worse, stands. Works. Ay, qué exagerada la teacher. ¿Cómo pronuncia esas S? It's true, you guys. De verdad, sí se pronuncia, right? I'm not lying over here. Works. Writes. Tengan en cuenta que aquí estos verbs, porque todos estos son verbs, right? Wears, sits, talks, works, handles, stands, son verbs. ¿Qué sucede con ellos? Aquí ya están para tercera persona, right? Entonces, por eso la regla gramatical le agrega la S. Y si esa S está, ¿qué hacemos con esa S? We have to pronounce it. Tenemos que pronunciarlo. All right? There's no other way. Lo mismo aquí con places. Places. All right? Lugares. This is plural. Now, my dear friends, let's move on. Guiding examples. ¿Para qué teníamos que ver este vocabulary? Guiding examples. Mayra, read number one, please. Okay, espérame. <laughs> Ay, ¿qué pasó? Ya volví. Um, she works in a restaurant. Please. Right. Yes, please. Very good. Está correcta. A chef works in a restaurant. Aquí estoy haciendo uso de el place. Right? Una oración con el place. 
Mayrene, number two, please. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I just wore in uniform. Where's? I just wear an uniform. That's correct. Excellent. Activity. Thank you, Mayden. Activity. Very good. Aquí, esa es la activity que la persona hace, right? Eh, claro está que el chef cooks, right? Él cocina todo el día. Basically, esa es su actividad. Pero como wears a uniform, entra en las activities, lo utilizamos también como una activity. Now, what are you going to do next? ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes ahora? Alexis Hurtado, tell me the instructions, please. Let's practice. The one word individually to create at least three sentences using the vocabulary present. We can share, share your sentences with the class. That's correct, sir. Thank you. All right, you guys. Tenemos tiempo, al menos creemos una sentence, all right? Para lograr escucharlos a todos, una sentence. Pueden decidir si quieren utilizar el, la profesión de la persona, all right? Y el place o la profesión y la activity, all right? Job and activity. You decide. At least one, al menos una, porque mañana vamos a practicar también con esto. Finish teacher. Excellent. Emma, tell me your sentence. The waitress work in a hotel. In a hotel. Mm -hmm. That's correct. In a hotel. Very good. It's true. Do we have another volunteer? Tenemos alguien más que ya finalizó. <clears throat> Yo, teacher. Excellent. Action, Kimberly. Y déjenme ver a quién me dijo yo, no sé si fue aquí. Ah, uh, Mayra, ok. After Kimberly, Mayra. A nurse wears a uniform. A nurse works in a hospital. That's correct, excellent, very good. Thank you. Let's go with Mayra. Es similar. A nurse works hard in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Ah, pues no era así, mi Excellent, Mayra. Eh, escuché a alguien que dijo yo también. Era. Hola, Hola. Sí. Déjenme ver, es que no me acuerdo. Hola, Juan José. Ah, Juan José. Action, Juan. Sí. A doctor works in the hospital. Uh -huh. Excellent, sí. very good. Security. Uh -huh. Me si alguien tiene el micrófono abierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's go with Yesenia. Action, Yesenia. A jogger, a jogger, work in a jogger. All right, very good. That's good. A procession, a jogger, a jogger. A judge, what? Repeat. Mm -hmm. A judge. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. That was good. Thank you. Ahora tenemos a Karen Castillo, please. Se me pide en el chat. Action. The salad person work in the store. Uh -huh. It's true. <laughs> it's true. A sales person works in the store. All right. Todavía tenemos tiempo para alguien más, everybody. Yo, teacher. Excellent. A security guard works in a bank. Hey, that's true. <laughs> that one is true. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. All right, you guys. 
before we finish, antes de que nos vayamos, porque yo sé que ya tienen sueño, right? Es, es Monday y es casado. <laughs> so let me tell you, no se olviden de practicar en su platform. Yo espero que ya todos hayan terminado la section one and two. Se necesitan ayudita por ahí, me avisan, all right, on WhatsApp. Este, ya habiendo finalizado la number one and two, trabajemos en la number three. Ya podemos iniciar, ya tenemos como las primeras dos eh, lecciones por aquí, all right? If you need any help, si necesitan ayuda, pues I'm all ears. Estoy ahí presente, solo me avisan. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to see you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, Thank you. Bye, Miss. Bye. 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 Bye